of that. Uh, so yeah, I will uh, tell like, a little bit more about the company. So uh, we are a uh, Rava company located in seven different countries in Europe, uh, in 35 different production and sales locations. Uh, we both of us are from Poland, so uh, location is responsible for the production, but also for the R&D uh, part of the, of the uh, company. Yeah, uh, regarding the manufacturing, sorry, regarding the manufacturing process uh, in our company. So from our point of view, we have all the processes which are most important uh, during our production. So we are buying the raw material, so we have uh, all the operation like cutting, bending, CNC machining, uh, welding, also adhesive, uh, surface treatment, coating, assembly, but also welding, which we will show uh, tell a little bit more later on. Um, and regarding this process, which we have allocated in our company, there are three main, which are special, special process. So we need to have uh, special certificates under this, and they are um, done in our company under special conditions. So first one is the welding, which is certified uh, according to again 15085. Uh, the certification company is from Hoffer. The same is adhesive bonding. This is the you know, the highest class of the of the bonding. It's the same company which is the certification uh, company, so from Hoffer. And we have also powder painting and red coating. So also to a special process which is allocated in our company. Of course, can, someone can say that there are other, uh, let's say, special process which can be uh, taken in our production, but not all of them are in such uh, that's a big portion to allocate resources on this, it's better sometimes to outsource some process than to have it uh, on place. Regarding the product groups, so we are a company uh, which is producing a very wide range of the products to the labor industry. So we are equipping uh, all the, let's say, trains, which we can use by our own in daily life, like uh, passenger doors. There are second group which is interiors, give me things like ceiling, some some other elements inside. There are also a group which is called windows. So here we have passenger windows and driver truck windows and big well structure. Here it's mainly automated the roofs, which is dedicated for the uh, doubles. Uh, we will focus later on uh, much more about the door systems in which we are using uh, a lot of welding, and there is a big pressure on this uh, production area. Because uh, in this area, we have also problems with the cracks during the welding. There are a few different uh, reasons of that, and Sebastian will explain it later on. So, the door systems uh, which we are using there are three main groups of the passenger door system. There is also driver trap doors uh, in the middle, and there is also fire resistant roof doors, which is usually uh, used at the end of each coach in the trains. Yeah. Um, Regarding the composition or materials which are used uh, in the dory, so the base um, material which is used in, the, in such kind of products, there's the aluminium profiles, which is strictly maybe not customized, but um, it's customized under our requirements. So there is like a hundred different shapes of this, that kind of material, that kind of aluminium profiles, which is dedicated strictly under each type of dory, uh, which we have in our portfolio. Our company is using 90-95% of aluminium only, so we are using some kind of other materials, but aluminium is the base one. Uh, the door leaf is mainly uh, combined with the aluminium profile welded frame, which is covered by some insulation materials, of course, uh, aluminium plate, which is covering the, the, the frame together with this insulation material, and the rest, other parts like the glazing, push buttons, and waving rails, rubbers, and, and etc. So this is the main uh, part of the, of the door leaf. Okay, so we're going to switch right now. Okay, uh, so we will focus on that frame structure. And do we have the cracks in our company? Yes, of course we have it. Uh, we try to avoid them, uh, we have the risks, and we have the opportunities. So if we need to live with them, so we have the instruction, we have the procedure to avoid uh, and to check and recognize where we have these cracks. Me, we define probably maybe three groups where we try to find a solution when we try to work with the cracks. Uh, the first is the technological process point of view. Uh, for example, our customers want to have aesthetic welding joints, so we must grind it, and then we have this source of the cracks. So this is the first uh, picture. The second one, uh, this is the structural or our design department. Uh, want to work and we work on the solid, 
solid uh, software and, and that mess analysis. So we try to avoid the cracks, uh, work on, on that place. The safe, safety is on the first place, yeah, because this is the public uh, usage products uh, where we uh, on the public transport use. So really, really focus on, on that safety point of view. Then we have the structural elements. And for example, here we see the uh, small parts which will be welded and our supplier sent to us uh, parts with too much uh, of copper inside. And we recognize that that can be the source of the, the cracks too. Okay, uh, so what we do, uh, we try to um, try to check and try to check that did the welding joints prepared by the robot will have more strength, static strength than the manually weld joints. And uh, for that, we prepare the samples uh, and we, on, we do that on the automated weld and welded uh, layers workstation. Um, we choose the IGN supplier, we have the rotary column, we put the, the parts from the frame, for, for example, inside them. This rotary column works 360 degrees, so we work in the continuous uh, job. We have two uh, methods, so TIG and PIG, and also we have a camera to recognize the gap between the materials, so uh, we try to uh, avoid, uh, if we have some problem, preparation of the parts on the CNC. Okay, so at the implementation of the welding of that automation, uh, we have a lot of problems. So on the left side, this is something where we start to learn. On the right side, this is after our uh, our process of optimization. So uh, if we have the problem in the process, we try to use different parameters, we try to speed up uh, the wire, um, or we try to change the parameters inside the walls to get the better welding points and the better quality. It's possible, uh, don't have in the future the cracks. Okay. Um, okay, in the first stage, um, <coughs> the first stage of this, uh, we, we prepare the sample, the frame, weld it and we cut all the welding joints and make the visual inspection. And uh, all of that is going according to the norm, which uh, we must do in the regular industry. So this is EN 15085. So we, we recognize that our, after our <laughs> optimization, we have a good condition of the samples. Uh, no, samples number PR906, samples PR907. So all of that is, is we cut it in our internally in our company and check it as well. At the second stage, we cooperate with uh, an institute, SFL DC, uh, to check, uh, make the two tests. So the first stage, and the second stage, it was the macroscopic examination and microscopic examination, and our samples don't show any deviation, so uh, we have proven that, okay, our, we, we catch the stable process and the quality, uh, it's, it's good. Uh, next, uh, the norm gives us this, that we should prepare two tests, the tensile test and band test. As, as we see uh, on the samples, it, air found 0, 0.1 and air found 0, 0.1.2. Uh, the results, it's, it's, it's good that uh, we reached the target. And on the band test, uh, when we bend the samples on 180 degrees, uh, we don't see any potential risk, and the samples was in the good condition too. So that was the uh, something what we what, what we end at this moment. We know that we can put this uh, to the serial production. The process is safe. We don't see any risk inside. The next stage, what we plan to do in our research, uh, is the fatigue test of the samples. So we should start to produce a lot of the samples. To the fatty test, and our conclusion is that uh, we believe that this process is more stable, give us this good quality, um, but we know that the robot is blind, so we still have a lot of the possibility of deviation uh, in the processes before. So we try to prepare the library with all of that technology steps uh, to reach that that target. And at the end, at this moment, this is the next step. Thank you. Thank you.